I'm Donna Meldon, coordinator for the Holmes County Chamber of Commerce, and this is Chats with the Chamber Lady. Today I have a wonderful guest, Ruth Forster with Make It So. Hi, Ruth. How are you doing this afternoon? Hi, Donna. I'm great. How uh, are you? I had, we've had a good day today. Uh, and, and, I, and I of course, I have been to your shop many times. Uh, one can just go in 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 your uh, store, make it so, and just find anything unusual, anything related to sewing, quilting. You have such a great selection of everything. You can teach people, and we're going to get into a little bit more better discussion about all of this. But let's start with just the services that uh, make it so uh, can provide. We can teach you how to do anything related to sewing, um, uh, quilting, uh, garment making, and machine embroidery. Uh, there's, there's so many fun things that we do. I, if it's got to do with fabric, and there's a lot of us fabric, fabriholics out there, yes. we like to touch it. <laughs> we don't know why, but we just do. And, and we um, like to see it in person so that we, we do. can see the colors, we do. the, the it's, designs. It's hard to buy beautiful fabrics online. Mm -hmm. And if you can come and touch it, it makes a difference. Um, but between my shop and the classes that I teach, we have uh, many things that, that you might want as a sewer. And as a crafter, there's, there's crafting items in there, too. I don't focus on them, but they're, they're still available because they cross over. How did you how did you come into the the knowledge, uh, the craft of sewing, quilting? Uh, can you get us give us a little backstory on on how how you started make it sew? Well, I started sewing when I was probably six. It might have been seven. I don't remember for sure, but I remember my grandmother teaching me to sew on her treadle foot Singer sewing machine, and a lot of us have those machines. And they're really cool, but it's really nice when you can say you learned to sew on one. And I miss my grandmother every day. And I miss the fact that, that we sewed together and we just had fun doing it. Um, she taught me how to make what we call, the, my first sewing project was a broomstick skirt. Oh my goodness. And uh, how'd I, you do on that? I did pretty well. <laughs> I did pretty well. It just had elastic in the waist. <laughs> so anyway, but um, that was my first sewing project. And since then, it's been garment making mostly for me because I just fell in love with it. And I've been doing that for years. And quilting has come about just as a uh, uh, something that I've enjoyed doing. It's it's fun. I don't do it very. I didn't do it very often, until Make It So came into being. COVID hit, and I needed something to do to supplement the part time job, and because the full time jobs were, ever, you know, there were so many of us that got got laid off. Exactly. And um, so we decided that it was time to. Try, try our hand at, at being a small business. And here I am a year and a half later. It's been longer than that almost. But anyway, so all this time later and I, it's, the business is going strong. We're having fun. I'm making more quilts than I ever dreamed I would make. <laughs> you, you know, um, Ruth, when you, when you think about it, quilting and sewing it's almost becoming a lost art, it isn't is. it, in our culture? Uh, and and as I said, having stopped by your shop on numerous times, you can just see all of the handiwork, the time spent. It's something almost personal between you, you, your fabric, and and a needle, isn't it? It is. It is, or a machine, or or, <laughs> or a machine. And you have lots of machines at your store. I that, do that that can help you with the sewing That's art of right. sewing, can it? Well, I've recently <laughs> included a, a long arm in my shop, and if you know anything about long arms, you know that they are long. <laughs> <laughs> they are quite large. I, I, I did see and, in person. Yes, okay? and they are quite large, and they're they're really fun to play with. And um, they it, it was just an extension of a sewing machine, and 
they work beautifully to give you a finished quilt and um, I'm offering services. If you have a quilt top that your grandmother made that you don't know what to do with, mm -hmm. bring it in and let's get it quilted. I also offer you the ability to come in and do the quilting. I'll teach you how to do it, how to, how to use that machine effectively so that you can quilt what you want to do. If you start making a quilt and you've got... Um, you start it from scratch. You're making this beautiful piece of art from scratch. You want to do it from start to finish. And I can show you how to use the long arm and you can get to that point. You can do it yourself. That's an amazing service so to offer it someone. Is. And then, then to, and then that individual have that unique item. That they that, made that, by hand. That they made by hand. And also possibly a, a, a close relative had, had helped mm -hmm. them get to that point yep. i know i have i have several quilt tops that I, I that i need to come over and let you help me with very good now very good. uh now going into your make it so uh what items can can a person find whenever they come come to your shop i have fabric i have threads i have the needles for your your sewing machines um i don't have long arm needles but i do have domestic machine needles i have rulers i have uh, hand needles, I, it, anything that's going to help you be a better sewer, I'll help get you there. Um, it just depends on what you're looking for. And if I don't have it, I'll find it for you. And I know I, you will. You've I, done that many times for us here at the chamber. Finding the right thing to get mm -hmm. you to where you need to be. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, I've got sources where I can go out and get, get some of these things that are harder to get to. Mm-hmm. Tell me about your, now you teach quilting and you have several, several groups that come over. I do. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, we have a quilting group that comes and meets. Uh, they're actually part of the, the um, Holmes Valley Quilt Guild. And they, it's just a smaller version of, of the quilt group. They come and they sit and work on their projects. Uh, they'll use my, my AccuQuilt, which is a, a very precise cutter of, of fabric so that um, you've, got, you've got exactly the right size that you need. Um, they'll use the AccuQuilt. They'll cut their, their pieces uh, that we'll discuss the best ways to sew these things to how does it look. We'll put things up on the design wall and, and you know, make sure that all the colors are blending the way that they're supposed to. Um, it's almost like a preview of the quilt. It, then, it is. Isn't it? it very much okay. is. Um, and and you know if you don't have the right fabrics, we can we can walk into the shop and everything is right there. We can pick out from from pre cut pieces that are you know in fat quarters or in in squares, or or we can you know look at the yardage and make sure that that you can get whatever you're looking for that goes with that those pieces okay. and when we have groups like this I'm not not there to sell them anything I'm there to help them through whatever we're working out let's let's figure out the best ways to get these pieces together and you know you I want you to buy from me but you don't have to I you know I'm not offended if you go to Amazon <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> now uh, besides now of course you you all various services uh, cust you mentioned the long arm service, the uh, now custom quilt tops at your at, that that you can design yourself. Mm -hmm. Is that something that if you, you want a quilt top a quilt made mm -hmm. and um, you're not sure what you want, you just have some ideas. Mm -hmm. Come in and talk to me. We'll work out what it needs to be, and I can make it for you from start to finish. And, Ruth, I know that you will do that. You will go to any any link to help your customers. However however we need to get that done so that you're happy with it, a gift for mom or, you know, you're, you want to buy a Christmas present for your wife. These are the perfect ways to get these done is is find somebody that can help you with it. And that's, you know, what I'm here for is, is to help with things like that. Right now I've got a T-shirt quilt on my table. Somebody's T-shirts from the time they started grade school until they graduated from oh, high school. Oh, great gift idea. And, you know, and it's there. And 
we've it's it's almost finished. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> but, I have to come check that out. <laughs> yeah, but um, but you know, t- we take our old T-shirts, our memory quilts, our memory mm-hmm. pillows, or mm-hmm. things like that from our loved ones. Um, we we want we want that memory. We want to take it yes. with us and keep it with us, and because it was theirs. Yes, and um, that that helps us. It 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 helps us with a lot of things. But but I can put those things together for you. And and in front of us, we have this beautiful, uh, beautiful Christmas quilt, and it is just lovely. Uh, we were talking before we we got started uh, this afternoon, and just it, it it just brings all all of the Christmas together in one it, convenient it does. quilt, doesn't it, does. it, Ruth? It does. Now, and this is a special quilt. You're you're helping one of our organizations here in town. Tell, tell us which organization and and tell us how you might can own this beautiful Christmas quilt. There you go. Um, this was made specifically for the Holmes County Historical Society. Uh, it is a fundraiser, and I have raffle tickets available. You can get them from Donna here at the chamber. Yes, come by and see me. I'll sell you a chance on there, it. There, you can you can buy one ticket for five dollars, or you can buy five tickets for twenty, and everybody's got a winning ticket. So, <laughs> so come get your winning ticket so that so that you can win this. The drawing is going to be. Uh, Oh, no, I forgot the date. The week before Christmas, I believe. Okay. And um, and you don't have to be present to win. What we will do is, you know, take your name and your telephone number. And if you're the lucky winner, then... Then you can just contact me. We'll, ca- we'll be calling oh, you. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> so. Now, tell us, tell us about your hours of operation, which days you are open, okay. And um, and your address, I know it's 401 McLaughlin Avenue. You're part of the new Holmes County Development uh, Mall or location mm-hmm. uh, in the in the old uh, Bonifay High School. Mm-hmm. What what are your hours, Ruth? I am open from Tuesday to Friday from 11 to 5. Um, if you catch me on weekends, you might find me open then too because we have a lot of weekend classes, and any time that I'm there. Consider me open if you if you catch me there. Um, but if you've got special times that you can't make it during the week and you know that you need something on on the weekend, mm-hmm. uh, shoot me a text, call me, and I am more than happy to stay open, to come in and be open during strange hours if if it's going to help you get through whatever your project is. Give give a give us that phone number. It is eight five zero seven six eight eight three four eight. Anything else you would like to tell us about? Make it so today. Come join us for a class. We have so much fun. We do. We we get together and we we play. Thank you for joining me today here at Chats with the Chamber Lady, where we met Ruth with Make It So. Tune in next time when we sit down with another local business because if you need it, you want it, or you want to do it, we've got it right here in Holmes County. Thank you.